Okay, hello everybody and welcome again. So we are back. And uh, today our lesson will be about past, present and future. Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, this is life. Uh, time is really an essential part aspect of our life and time itself can be a good uh, discussion topic maybe in the future someday uh, we will be we will we, we'll be able to have such discussions uh, about certain topics such as time yes time money environmental problems etc etc okay now let's turn back to our business and uh, concentrate on our subject today yes as i said as i said before our subject is about past present and future yes okay hello again and i am happy to be here yes i am happy that we are here okay trip five the simple present, the simple past, and the simple future tenses. Tenses of what? Of course, first of all, tenses of B, B. Let me write here B as well. Can, model, will become could, do will become did, have will become had, and uh, you we studied. In fact, we studied uh, B as uh, B as was were. Yes, we studied it. You know it. For example, today is Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow will be tomorrow will be uh, Thursday. Okay, this is the. Uh, past, present, and future form of to be. Now let's see uh, and uh, study the others. Okay. Now action words, especially our topic will be about uh, past tense of action words. Okay. For example, this is present. Who lives in London? Peter does. Who will live in London next year? Peter will. Who lived in last in London last year? Peter did. Okay. Who commutes means who goes to work by car every morning? Patricia does. Okay. Present again. Now dialogue two. Orhan commutes to Ulus by car every morning. Who commutes on train or by train? Serhat does. Or Serhat commutes on train. Who commuted to New York by subway last year? Jessica did. Who commuted to New York by subway last year? Jessica commuted to work. Sorry went to work uh, to New York uh, by subway last year. Or in short, Jessica commuted to New, New York by subway last year. In short, Jessica did. Now, when you see can, let's immediately remember, be able to. If you look it up in the dictionary, can dictionary says that can means be able to. Okay. Okay. Or have the ability to. Noun to do. Adjective to do. Ahmed is an able person. He is Ahmed is able. Is able to drive a car. Or Ahmed has the ability to drive a car. Noun to do. Ahmed has the ability to drive a car. But uh, we 
don't remember have the ability to, this is the, of course, explanation of it, we immediately remember be able to, be able to. Okay. Dialogue three, we can play baseball. Who is able to play chess? Serdar is able to play chess. Who can ride a bicycle? Murat can ride a bicycle. Who is able to ride a bicycle? Murat is able to ride a bicycle. Who has the ability to play basketball? NS has the ability to play basketball. Short answer, who has the ability to play basketball? NS does. We have got has got. Who has got the ability to play basketball? NS has. But if there is only has, it is the verb to have. Singular. For singular subjects. Who has the ability to play basketball? NS does. Okay. Dialogue four. A. Who is a singer? Yeah, let's remember. In fact, anybody who doesn't know English can start from here as well. Yes. With the, for example, the green part on the left symbolizes the uh, past of be do have the brown in the middle. The brown part symbolizes the present forms of be do have and the right. It is blue, but there isn't blue now. Uh, it means that we uh, we 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 will not see future sentences in this page. Okay, on this page. Okay. Yes, Tony is uh, sorry, sorry. Who is a singer? Tony is. Yeah. Who is a singer? Tony is a singer. Who eats butter and honey every morning? Roger does. Or complete answer. Roger eats butter and honey every morning. Who has a car? Attention, it isn't who has got a car. It is just who has a car? Peter does. Who lives in London? Peter does. Now let's look at the sentence in parentheses about past. Yes. Who was a singer? Tony was. Tony was a singer. Who ate? Now, eat, emizar, as you know, was word. And being, three forms of them. Eat, ate, eaten. Yes, you will see a list of those regular and irregular verbs uh, with their uh, three forms and especially six forms altogether. To have, for example, had, had. The third form is also had. To live, live, live. Second and third forms are uh, the same. Yes, you will see them. We will uh, we will study them more in the following videos. Okay, let me read it from the beginning. Who was a singer? Tony was. Who ate butter and honey every morning last month? Roger did. Who had a car? Last year, Peter did. Who lived in London? Peter did. Okay. Now, uh, only past, because there is there is the green, uh, the green part on the left. The simple past tense of to have, can, and to do. Yes, is an auxiliary word. Had, could. Did was. Uh, who lived in London? Peter did. Who ate butter and honey yesterday morning? Roger did. Or Roger ate butter and honey yesterday morning. As it is in simple present tense and uh, simple past tense, uh, when uh, the subject is, uh, for example, uh, when we look for the subject, and uh, we don't use did. So we only use the second, for example, uh, Roger eats in present time. We don't use, you know this, we don't use does. But in short answers, we use. Here again, 
uh, in short answers, we use did, but in complete answers, wrong answers, we don't use did. Who ate butter and honey yesterday morning? Roger did. It's okay, 100% true. But when it comes to making a complete answer, we don't use did. Who ate butter and honey yesterday morning? Roger ate butter and honey yesterday morning. Now, again, it, uh, pay attention to eat, have, be, and can. Dialogue five. Musa eats butter and honey every morning. Who has a balanced diet this year? Berkay does. Who has got three guests? Murat has now, because to, to, to have got. Verb is to have got. Who is the landlord? Ahmed Bey is. Dialogue six. Vili was the landlord. Who had three guests? Murad Bey did. Or Murad Bey had three guests yesterday. Who was the landlord? Vili Bey was the landlord. Now in the present, 6B, William can also ride a bicycle. Who can write articles? Who can write articles? Sarah can write articles. In the past, William could ride a bicycle. Who could write articles? Roger could write articles. In the past. Now, in the present, at present, or in the present, both are true. William is able to ride a bicycle. It is also mean William can ride a bicycle today, this year. Who is able to write articles? Sarah is able to write articles this year. Or Sarah can write, can write articles this, this year. Who is able to write articles? Sarah is able to write articles. Let's see the past. William was able to ride a bicycle. What does it mean? Or how can we uh, express it again with the same uh, with the same message? Yes, like this. William could William could ride a bicycle last year. Or William was able to ride a bicycle. Who was able to write articles? Sarah was able to write articles. Okay, dialogue seven. A. Selman could ride a bicycle well. When? When could Selman ride a bicycle well? When he was 10 years old. Hmm. Yes, when close. When is not a question word here. Uh, it's a connector. Selman could ride a bicycle when he was 10. Who could paint a picture well when he or she? When he or she 10 years old. Feride. Feride could paint. Feride could paint a picture well when she was 10 years old. When she was 10 years old. Is it clear? Yes, I think it's clear. Now, dialogue 8A. A, speaker A, Alex, for example. I could use a computer when I was 10 years old. What could you do when you were 10 years old? I could ride a bike when I was 10 years old. Or when I was 10 years old, I could ride a bike. What else could you do? Yes, what else could you do when you were 10 years old? I could climb a fruit tree. I could climb a fruit tree when I was 10 years old. Now, you, you can change the subject, of course. What can Jessica Sorry, what could what could Jessica do when she was 10 years old? She could she could cook eggs 
when she was 10 years old. Uh, what could your friend, what could your friend do when he was uh, 10 years old? He could fix his bicycle when he was 10 years old. What could you do again? What could you do when you were 10 years old? I could read stories when I was 10 years old. Yes, this is like this. This is goes on and on and on like this. So simple. Although it is past of can, still we use the base form of the verb without adding prefixes or suffixes to it. Buy, for example, not buying, not to buy, not bought, not buys. What could Ahmed do when he was 10 years old? He could buy, he could buy his books, his books when he was 10 years old, etc., etc. Okay. I advise you to finish them both orally and in a written form. Yes. Dialogue 8B. Hey, I was able to now. I could. I could use a computer or we studied it in the previous page. Now, I was able to. Has the same meaning. I was able to use a computer when I was 10 years old. What were you able to do when you were 10 years old? Yeah. What were you? So, I was, I was able to ride a bike when I was, when I was 10 years old. Again, I was able to climb a fruit tree. Uh, I was able to cook eggs, etc., etc. Okay. We can change the subject. What was, what was, uh, what was Patricia what was Patricia able to do when she was 10 years old? She was able to, Patricia was able to uh, make friends easily when she was 10 years old. Patricia was able to visit museums and libraries when she was 10 years old. Yes, Patricia was able to talk on the phone when she was 10 years old. What uh, what was your daughter? What was your daughter able to do when she was 10 years old? My daughter was able to draw, was able to draw uh, pictures when she was 10 years old. Okay. Now, again, example, uh, we have always an example sentence here. And then question according to that, according to that example sentence, of course, it is not all about learning the sentences. We should, uh, we must make or we must ask questions as well. Okay. For example, I had a bicycle 10 years ago. I had a bicycle 10 years ago. What did you have? What did you have 10 years ago? I had I had two cars 10 years ago. Yes. What did you have? I had two cars 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, in the parentheses, let, let me read it. Let me read the dialogue in parentheses. What will you do? What will you, sorry, what will you have 10 years later? Or, of course, I am not sure. I don't know. I am not sure about it, but uh, I think I will have a villa. I will have a villa 10 years later. Okay. Or I hope. I hope I will have a villa 10 years later. Here, let me read it too. I hope I will write a novel by himself or on my own. I hope I will have a novel of my own. Yes, a novel of my own. Dialogue 10. I had a computer three years ago. I had, I had a computer three years ago. 
what did you have then? It means, uh, what did you have three years ago? I had a, uh, I had a bird cage. Yes, I had a bird cage ten years ago. I had co quails, quails ten years ago. I had. Uh, Chickens, yes, I had chickens uh, 10 years ago. What did you have 10 years ago? What did you have? Okay. Dialogue 11a. Hassan could use the normal map very well last weekend. Congratulations. Hassan could use the normal map very well last weekend. Couldn't he use the navigation map very well? Yes, yes, he could also. He could also use the navigation map very well. Or he was able to. He was able to use both the normal map and the navigation map very well. Navigation, uh, GPS means global positioning system. GPS, global positioning system to show the location. Yes. Okay. Dialogue 12. Murat had a football. Football itself, yes. The object. Murat had a football when he was a child. Metin had a basketball, didn't he? Yes, he had a basketball. Or baseball. Or, 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 or volleyball. Beach ball, they are objects, and at the same time, they are the names of the game. They have got two meanings. Okay, football is uh, is both an object and the name of the game. Okay. Dialogue thirteen. Metin had a basketball. Who had a volleyball? Joseph had a volleyball. Who had a who had a, a beach ball? Tarek had a beach ball. Handball. Okay. Okay. How to write a story? Yes, this is the image and the second one. Five steps. Now, now to do. Do you recognize? Do you notice? Five, five steps to write a story. Yes, five steps to write a story. Here are, there are, in this article, uh, in fact, the article isn't uh, here now, isn't there, but there were, there were five steps uh, to write a story in that article. There were, there were five steps. Of course, it is just an image here. Now let's turn back to our dialogue. In both past green, present brown, and future blue. Okay. Okay, A. Again, this is really important. I advise you to screenshot it if possible. Yes. Let's concentrate on it. Let's be more careful. A says, everybody wants to write a story. What about you? Now, pay attention to now. So, I am writing a story now. So, simple present, present continuous. What about Melissa? Sometimes. So, Melissa sometimes writes a story. What about Patrick? So, again, every 10 months, simple present tense. Patrick writes a story every 10 months. What about you? Ah, in the future too. So, I will. I will write a story in the future too. Or I hope. I hope I will write a story in the future too. What about you? Oh, in the past. So, to write is the infinitive form. Writing is the uh, uh, gerund form. Write present singular subject form. Write base form. 
especially for imperative sentences and models, yes, and wrote. This is the, they call, this is the first form, this is the second form, this is the third form. I don't know why it is like this, but they call them like this. And the first form, right, the second form, wrote, and the third form is written. So, shall I say that, will you take note, please, the third form of the words is also, are also, they are also adjectives. For example, written story. Yeah, just like a good story, uh, I have a written story. I have a good story. These are also, these are also adjectives. Okay, let's close the parentheses and turn back to our business. What about Sali? So what about you? I wrote, uh, sorry, uh, what about you in the past? So this one, the second form. And we don't use the second form uh, anywhere else for any purposes. We don't uh, use it. It is, we, we use the second form only in simple past tense. This is also an encouraging situation. Yes, again, let's let me turn back to our question. Uh, what about you in the past? Sure, in the past too. I wrote. So I wrote a story in the past too. Yes. What about Sali? Sali wrote a story two years ago. Or Sali wrote a story two months ago, two weeks ago. This is really important. A, a good summary about all past, present, and future. Yes, as a summary, as a revision. Okay, now, once upon a time, the image says, once upon a time. This is Kelly Olan, a story, a, 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 a tale a character, a story character, a book character. Yes, a once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a Kelola. He was bald, but he had bold ideas. He could solve difficult problems easily. Who else was there once upon a time? Once upon a time, there was a Miller. He was poor. But he had three smart children. He could work day in and day out. He could work, he could work happily. Okay. Who else was there? There was a sultan. He was very fair, just. Or there was a prince, he was very handsome. Or there was a princess, she was very beautiful, etc., etc. Of course, these are just the beginning parts of uh, writing or talking about, talking about uh, past stories. Okay. Yes, in fact, in original, in American uh, folk folklore, uh, it is like this. In Turkish, we say, Ali Baba has a farm. Yes, Ali Baba has a farm. You know this. But in American English or in American culture or in the Western culture, they said, Old MacDonald had a farm in the past. Yeah. For example, Kelly Olan had, had a mother, a, a compassionate mother. Yes. Kelly Olan had a donkey. We start stories like this. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm in the past. And on his farm, he had some cows. He had some cows. Etc. Etc. Old MacDonald had a farm 
on his farm, he had some ducks. It is like this in original form. I advise you, yes, to listen it once more by writing just uh, old MacDonald had a farm. You mm. will see lots of videos about it, about the song. Yes, old MacDonald had a farm. On his farm, he had some lambs. Okay. Old MacDonald had a farm. On his farm, he had some hands. Etc. Etc. He had some cats. He had some horses. He had some geese. He had some birds. Even they say he had some children. Okay. Dialogue 14a. I could listen to music. Yes, I was able to listen to music. I could listen to music on the radio when I was a child. What could you do when you were a child? I could recite, recite poems. I could select, is possible, yes, that, uh, that young person is sledding now, for example, as a verb and as a noun. Uh, he, he is sledding now or he is sliding a sled. He is sliding a sled now. Both are possible. I could have, yeah, yes, that, uh, I was trying to say this. I wrote it uh, there already. I could sled, yes, I could sled when I was, uh, when I was a child, or I could slide sled when I was a child. What could you do when you were a child? I could read and write. I could write poems when I was at primary school. I could write poems when I was a child at primary school. Okay. Dialogue 14b. I was able to listen to music on the radio when I was a child. What were you able to do when you were a child? Yes, let me read this part now. Uh, I was able to, yes, let's change it. I was able to copy it instead of could. Yes, we delete, we delete the could and we put there was able to like this. Yes, it's okay now. I was able to select when I was a child. Let, uh, let's do the same thing to this one. Again, yes, let's delete could, same meaning, same message. I could slide, I could slide sleds when I was a child or this one. I was able to slide sleds when I was a child. Is it clear? So simple, so useful. Yes, knowing it like this is very useful. Okay. Now, when I was... I could read and write when I was four years old, when I was a child, when I was 10 years old, when I was at primary school. What could you do in the past? I could play, I could play marbles with my friends in the past. Yes. What could you do? I could play soccer when I, wa when I was uh, 12 years old. Okay. I was able to read and write when I was four years old. What were you able to do when you were four years old? I think it is better uh, if we change it like this. What were you able to do? Yeah, in the past, like, let's uh, leave it the same. I think it is better like this. In general, yes. What were you were able to do in the past in general? You can you can say I was able to I was able to swim when I was uh, eighteen years old, for example. I was able to swim when I was eighteen years old. Yes, in the past. Okay, what were you able to do when you were a child? I was able to play dominoes. Okay, nice. Dialogue 16, Nermin had a cat. Nermin had a cat. 
what did old MacDonald uh, old MacDonald have? He had a farm. What did Nermin have? Nermin had a cat when she was a child. Did Turgut have a rabbit or a bird when he was a child? He had. He had a rabbit when he was a child. What did you have? Did you have a budgie or a parrot when you were a child? I had a budgie. I had a budgie when I was a child. Yes, uh, we are traveling uh, back to the time. Yes, back uh, to the past. Okay. Turgut had three birds. One, two, three. Three budgies. Turgut had three birds. They were budgies. How many pets did Yasemin have when she was a child? Yasemin had four pets when she was a child. Yes. Yesterday, again, by, about, about. Irregular. Yes, you will see a list of them. It is very famous. If you write on the Google, for example, if you search for uh, uh, write by writing uh, verb forms, you will see a lot of lists showing uh, the uh, three forms of the irregular verbs in uh, in English. See, so seen, by, bought, bought, find, found, found. Okay. I bought, not buy, not buying, not buys, not to buy, again, a verb to, and let me say it again, please. Uh, this is the, the, the second form of verbs are always and only, only used in simple past tense. Yes, this is a, this is really, it is a fact. Okay. I bought three new bags yesterday. What did you buy yesterday? Yeah. When there is did and didn't, immediately the second form changes into the base form. Okay. What did you buy yesterday? I bought a fishing hood yesterday. I bought a pair of shoes yesterday. I bought two watermelons yesterday. What did you buy? Okay. I bought a case for my laptop. Yes, this is a case for it. This is the laptop. This is the case of the laptop. I bought a case for my laptop. I paid, pay, pay, paid. It is very famous to say, uh, to read them, to recite them like this. Yes. Go and gone. Have had had. Write, wrote, written. Okay. I paid $10 for it. How much did you pay for your bag? I paid $20 for my bag. I paid $20. How much did you pay for your bicycle? Dialogue 28. Tony played music. Tony played music at the fist. Fist. Who played the guitar? Patricia played the guitar. Who did Nihat play yesterday? He played volleyball. He played computer games or he played chess yesterday. Okay, play a musical instrument. He played a guitar, for example. He played soccer. He played basketball. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, verb two. They call it verb two. Uh, let me write. It is called, uh, I will say, I want to, it is called, but it is passive, and we will learn the passive forms, the passive voice, and passive forms of the verbs in the intermediate, uh, in the intermediate uh, level. Okay, they call, uh, 
let me say now they call instead of saying it is called. Yes, it is called. This is the passive form. They call uh, the first form of go. This is the first form. This is the second form. Yeah, went is the second form, verb two, and gone. Gone is the third form. This is famous. Yes. So the second form is only, again, I think this is the third time I am saying it. And the second form is only used in simple past tense. It is not used in any other structures or situations. Okay. Yes. I went to a supermarket supermarket yesterday. I bought a t-shirt at that supermarket. Where did you go? Do you see? Because there is did now the second form went. Yeah. Went out. And the first form has come or came. Okay. Where did you go yesterday? What did you do there? I went to the library yesterday and I borrowed. I borrowed three books. What did you do? I borrowed three books. Borrow is a regular word. Yes, and the second and third forms of regular verbs are the same, and you will see them in the following videos. Okay. See, so, seen. First form, base form. So the base form is the first form. Okay. So is the second form, and seen is the third form. Seen, do you remember? Seen is also an adjective, okay. 22A, I saw Engin yesterday. Who did you, yeah. Who did you see yesterday? I saw Bruce yesterday. Who will you see tomorrow? I will see Oz tomorrow. Who will you see tomorrow? I will see Oz tomorrow. I saw Bruce yesterday. Now, yeah, this is, uh, these are called the regular verbs, okay? Base form is the, yes, plain form. And walk, for example, you know this. Uh, walk is the second form. And again, the third form is also walked. Yes. Okay. Uh, dialogue 23a, I walk in the countryside yesterday to be energetic. What did you do to be healthy? I drank water to be healthy. Drink, drank. I drank water. I swim, swam, swam. I swam to be healthy. Okay. I woke up early to be healthy. 24A, I planned, organized, or I planned a business meeting last summer. What did you organize last year? I organized a family meeting. What did you organize? I organized a camping. Yes, a camping with friends. Okay. Meeting or gathering, a family gathering. I organized or I planned. Planned a family gathering last summer. Dialogue 25. We planned, plan to do, always, in past, present, future. Okay, this is really important. Want, for example. I wanted, yes, I wanted to cut the three branches yesterday but today i want to i want to uh, i want to cut 
the dried uh, tree uh, branches i will uh, i will want maybe i will want uh, to cut uh, to cut the grass tomorrow okay maybe i don't know maybe i will want to cut in all tenses the, that kind of verbs uh, require an infinity okay for example what will you plan to do tomorrow what do you plan to do today and what did you plan to do yesterday so we plan to cut we plan to cut the three branches mm, there is no need to write Ha ha, three, three. Yes, we plan to cut the three, not all of them, the three branches of the tree. Okay, nice. Yes. Three, three, three. We plan to cut the three branches of the tree. What did you plan to do? What did they, sorry, sorry. What did they plan to do? They planned to have a meeting. They planned to join an online English class yesterday. What did you plan to do? I planned to learn how to drive. I planned to learn how to drive. Okay. Please note, pay attention. Was, were, and did. Yes, just please concentrate on the usages of was, were, and did. Okay, 26A. You know this. There is now. There was in the past. There will be in the future. <coughs> okay, but before getting started, let's have a look at the uh, verb forms. Okay. Be, was, were, been. Bring first form brought, brought, second and third. Call, verb one, called, called, regular verb. Think, thought, thought, make, made, made, feel, felt, felt. Okay. Okay. There was slavery. There was slavery in the 19th century in America. Was there slavery in the 18th century as well? Yes. There was also slavery in 18th century. Americans and Europeans brought Africans as slaves to America. What did the Africans bring to America? They brought music. They brought their folkloric music. What did they call? Or what did they name? Jazz at first. So uh, Africans brought. What did they bring? They brought jazz, music jazz, yes. Uh, what did they call jazz at first? They called it blues, maybe. Okay. Do you think that blues and then jazz? Yes, it was blues at first, and then it became jazz. Uh, do you think that blues and jazz, then jazz, made people feel free and independent towards the 20th century? Yes, I believe that both blues and jazz made people feel. Yes. Make somebody do something. This is famous. We will study a lot about them. They, they are called causatives and they, they are very useful, yes. Yes, uh, they made them feel free and independent towards the 20th century. Okay. Now, quiz tour six, trip five. Please fill in the gaps with can, can, could, couldn't, was, wasn't, were, weren't, is, isn't, are, aren't, have got, haven't got, you know that. Have got and <coughs> have <coughs> got, they don't have a past, present, future. <coughs> they only have present forms. Okay. Has got also. Hasn't got. <coughs> <coughs> has got. 
had, but to have, you know this, to have has both past and future forms. For example, didn't have. We can say didn't have. Okay, attention please. 1A. Can you swim? No, I can't. This one. <coughs> <coughs> two a <clears throat> blank you swim when you were 15 yes could you of course could you swim when you were 15 yes i could have you got Where were we? Where were we? Yes, we were here. Have you got have you got both a bicycle and a motorbike? I have got a motorbike, but I haven't got a bicycle. When I was 10 years old, I blank a bicycle, but I didn't have a motorbike. So had I had a bicycle, but I didn't have a motorbike. Now, is, uh, look at that place. Look at that place. There blank a supermarket over there today. But there blank a tailor shop there 10 years ago. So this is present, this is past. Look at that place. There is, there is a supermarket over there today. But... There was a tailor shop there 10 years ago. And there blank a train station opposite the supermarket now. But, yeah, so there is. There is a train station opposite the supermarket now. But there was a post office there then. Behind the supermarket, there blank a lot of a lot of both small and large shops at the moment. So there are, there are. But 10 years ago, and let me tell this again, ago, this word is also, you, uh, we use it only in simple past tenses. Okay. In simple past sentences. 10 years ago, there were there were green fields instead of them when my father blank a child he blank a lot a, a lot of pets so when my father was a child he had a lot of pets but now he but now today he has no he doesn't have he doesn't have or he hasn't got, we can also say, he hasn't got, he doesn't have any. When I was five years old, I could ride a horse, but now, but now, I can, ah, I could ride a horse, but now I can't today. I can't ride a horse. Okay. I lost my ability of Riding a horse. Okay. Yes, let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, as uh, reading passages. Knowing the self and the truth. Someone who knows his or herself knows their Lord. This is a famous saying. Okay. Someone who knows the truth knows how to be truthful and fair as well. second one attaining justice or balance or coherence harmony i think they are really uh, close to each other requires or wants needs wisdom first and foremost yes wisdom causes balance coherence harmony in our lives 
If an individual trains, means controls, disciplines, his or her intelligence, first, it will be easy to manage, to train their emotions, such as anger, fury, curiosity, love, desire, attention, etc., etc. Attaining justice is not randomly, but prudently. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you for having this lesson together and see you next time.